Welcome back to Motorsports Magazine. Just saw some video uh, shot downtown during the Mayor's Cup, some of the automobiles that were on hand. Now, we're, of course, we're uh, in the garage area at Airborne, and joining me now is Kenny Davies, a driver in the Renegade Division, the driver of the number nine. And Kenny, for you, the last couple of weeks have been uh, pretty tough weeks. You've had some uh, uh, pretty heavy contact out in the feature races. Talk about what's gone wrong with the car and what you've had to do to get it back together now the last couple of weeks. Well, it, in the first accident, uh, we bent the front clip. Uh, it, we had to uh, re-straighten the front clip, put a new front end under it. Hours and hours of work with the help of Joe Gatto and J Joe Daniels in the 46 car. And I just can't thank them enough for all their help. Well, Kenny, you're a driver that got into the racing game a little bit later than what a lot of people are getting into it. We see uh, guys in the bomber division now that are still in middle school age. And uh, here you are, a retired guy, and you decided to get into auto racing about three years ago now. You've been in this renegade division. Why'd you get the bug? Well, when I was younger, 16, 17 years old, um, I raced at that point. I didn't drive, but I worked on the cars. Mm -hmm and uh, always enjoyed it, loved it. Um, I decided I needed to do the family thing and uh, raise my children with, along with my wife and racing just wasn't feasible. And now that uh, retirement and I'm assuming maybe kids are a little bit older, talk about your family. Tell us about your family. Well, I have two boys and, and, and a girl. Uh, both boys have all gone through college and uh, they're out on their own, have their own families. And uh, my daughter still lives with us. She's uh, 18, 19 years old, and uh, she's our baby. Uh, so the kids are bigger, and, and it, they don't need the attention that they do when they're younger. Right. And now you have more time for your race car. Are you a grandpa yet? Oh, yeah. We're grandpa uh, twice over and another one on the way. And I, I hear there's a story as well behind the number nine. Tell us how the number nine uh, came about to be on your race car. Well, my father's a, a devout boston red sox fan and that makes him a good guy I'm, i can tell you right now so the number nine is for ted williams uh my father is obviously much older than i and and he grew up with ted williams being his hero so when i decided to race number nine came up well, that's a fine number and an outstanding reason whenever you can uh, tie in the splendid splinter uh talk about how the season has gone for you obviously you've had some tough breaks here the last couple of weeks but uh, as i think back to when you first started here i think there's been a tremendous uh, improvement and really now you're a contender on a regular basis well we came out of the box real well we had uh, a few top tens uh and then we had got bit by the bad racing bug <laughs> yeah bad luck on the on that part but i you know i just can't thank uh, all the people around me who have helped me and supported me uh the 7-eleven mini mart uh big joe's tax service uh coca-cola uh rolling thunder speed shop and of course uh joe buck got or i wouldn't be here i was ready to give up after the first hard hit and uh he talked me back into it and here we are and we're still competitive this renegade division kenny is a real tough division too there's a lot of parity a lot of close competition Talk about uh, that, that renegade class and how you really have to be on the top of your game to get a win. You know, any given week, uh, any given car can win in this division. Uh, there's a lot of good drivers. There's uh, a lot of give and take in this division. Uh, it's a real good side-by-side -side racing. And, and, of course, you guys are the headline division tonight. You're running your longest race of the season at 40 laps. What differences might you run into uh, in the car with that extra distance? Uh, how might the car react to going those extra laps? Normally you run 25, so you're, you're almost doubling the distance. Uh, what might you expect as a driver different with the car? Well, as, as you go farther into the more laps you put on the car, the tighter the car is going to be. So you want to set up a little bit loose and, and have to hang on for the fear free laps and uh, hope the car will come to you at the end. Well, we're hoping that the car leaves tonight and it's not all banged up. And we hope that you have another uh, a good finish tonight, and we're looking forward to seeing you in that 40-lap feature event. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate all your time and effort, and you guys do a nice job on this MSN. Well, we thank Kenny Davies for joining us on Motorsports Magazine, and we invite, invite you to stay tuned for more right here, Motorsports Magazine on Hometown Cable. Welcome back to Motorsports Magazine. Joining me now, a driver of the JNS Steel Sportsman Division, one of the veterans of this division, it's Robin Wood. Robin drives the number 61, sponsored by Ghanianka Bingo, as well as rent -a -Rec. And Robin, 2008 has been a little bit a snake bit for you in 2008. You've had some uh, different problems with the car. Assess this, the uh, season for us. Uh, if I had to give myself a grade, I'd probably say about a D, but... <laughs> um, 
We, the car hasn't been running that bad, just that we haven't had a lot of good luck. Um, we had a couple top fives, no trophies yet. Uh, we thought we had a win, but we lost that, so hopefully tonight we can make up for that. Talk about what happened last week, 100 laps, often you're a driver that uh, have, having been through several of those 100 lap distance races in the past it does pretty well in those 100 lappers and then uh, right around the midway point we saw the 61 pull into the pits. Talk about what uh, problems hit you last week. Uh, last week we had a great car. We are just kind of riding behind Jamie and uh, all of a sudden I looked over and it was spewing water all out, out and uh, come to find out we had a water pump go bad which is pretty much the way this year has gone. Um, I think we had a car that could have won last week but it didn't turn out the way we like it, but hopefully, like I said, maybe tonight we can pull it off. Well, you've been at this now for some time, and memory serves me correct, you may have won more sportsman races slash tiger races here than anybody else. Bring us back, for those people that may not be as familiar with you, maybe a little bit uh, newer to Airborne Speedway, bring us back through the years, some of the different divisions that you've run in and the successes that you've had here. Oh, uh, I, I started racing back in, I believe it was 92, back in back in the old Tiger days and uh, I raced that class for two years. I moved up to the uh, late models. I raced them for like almost 10 years. Then they got rid of that class so we decided either we had to get out or drop down to a Tiger and then Becker, Joey Becker was selling the, the car then so I bought that car from Joey Becker and we've been racing Tigers for lot, probably like the past four or five years. And like I said you've had a lot of success here at the Speedway and uh, back in the days running under the ACT sanction as well, back when there was a, a, even a tour for the Tiger cars as well as in the late model competition. What drives you with motorsports? What is it, we talk, that's a question I ask a lot of the drivers, what is it for you that uh, really brings you back year after year into this race car? Oh, um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I really don't do anything else besides race. I mean, I don't skidoo, I don't hunt, I don't fish. It's pretty much just racing. Um, it's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of cool people. You meet a some people that you really don't think are so cool, but <laughs> for the most part, everybody's pretty cool. And just the satisfaction of being, being people week in and week out is pretty much why we do it. And then if you would for me, handicapped the, uh, the, the sportsman field in 2008. I mean, we're almost halfway through it now. Bucko got off to a great start. That great start has uh, allowed him to hold on to a, a, I won't say a comfortable points lead, but he's sitting atop the points. Just uh, handicap the entire field as, as you look at it uh, on a usual sun a Saturday, rather. Yeah, um, I think right from day one, Buckles had the fastest car all year long, and he pretty much proves it every week. Um, there's a lot of good guys out there. I mean, there's like six or seven or eight guys that can win every night. Depends on where they start, if they can get ahead of them, get ahead of each other or whatever. But I think Buckles got the fastest car. Jamie's got a fast car. Uh, Sean's got a fast car. There's, there's several really fast cars out there. Uh, Jason Bonnet has been running every week, but once he starts getting back to week to racing every week, I think he'll be really good. Well, we also look for this number 61 to be pretty good, and I get a feeling it's only a matter of time before you get checkered flag number one of 2008. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe tonight we our handicap should really be pretty bad. So I noticed uh, Rick picked me on the internet, so it must be pretty bad. I'm thinking tonight we should. <laughs> I'm thinking tonight we should be able to pull it off, I think. You know what's pretty bad? When, <laughs> when my big brother picks you, that's probably a jinx. So yeah. I'm not sure. He hasn't won too many this year. He got off to a great start, but he has had a, a tough time picking winners. Yeah. Well, I pick myself every week, so <laughs> I, I've lost every week. So hopefully this week we can turn things around. Well, thanks for talking with us, and we wish you the best of luck tonight and through the rest of the year. Thank you. That's Robin Wood, everybody. Check out and look for number 61 here at Airborne in the JNS Steel Sportsman class. Stay tuned. More Motorsports Magazine is coming right up. Welcome back to Motorsports Magazine, joined now by another driver from the Versatile Trailer Sales Renegade Division. He's from Swan, Vermont, drives the number 21, the Island Excavating sponsored uh, car. This is Dave Raptoy. Dave, you've been very consistent in this Renegade through the years, even uh, thinking back to last year as well, often finding yourselves with top 10 or top 5 finishes, yet that checkered flag has managed to elude you uh, in 2008 as well as in 2007. Uh, how much are you really thirsting for one of those black and white flags at the end of the night? <laughs> oh, I can see it. I can see it every week, but I'm just not quite there. And uh, we're definitely gaining on it every week. It's uh, It's been a hard run. Our last win was the last race in 06. Uh, no wins last year, but uh, we came up with, I think we were tied with the most top five finishes. Gave us a second place overall finish, which was great. Uh, just, just that win, you know, we've had uh, three or four weeks this year. We've been racing for the win. Had some bad luck last week. Uh, got 
turned into the wall, saved it there, and got turned, went to the back, came to the front. It's been uh, it's been hard fought, but we'll get one before it's over. Well, this is a very tight division, and it's one of those divisions where if you make any type of bobble at all going into one of the turns, there's somebody who's trying to dive inside you to get that spot. Talk about how close the competition is from the driver's seat. Oh, it's very close. I mean, I think this is the most competitive year we've had. Uh, there's 10 cars every week that can win the race, and, uh, you know, we're up there every week. It's just, uh, you know, last week we were six inches short. You know, we had we had them almost cleared, but not quite, and there's always somebody looking for that spot, and, you know, you're all racing for the same spot, and it, it happens. Uh, unfortunately, you know, three out of the last four weeks I've been turned around, and, you know, again, we've been racing for the lead every week, so it's not like we've got a bad car. It's just we got to get that luck to turn around. It, I hope it's coming. I feel good for tonight, you know, put a couple new tires on and patience tonight, the 40 lap is, uh, you can't win it in the first 10, you know, you got to hang around and, and go for it in the last 20 and hopefully you're, you're up there where you can contend for it. Well, you segued right into my next question. Earlier we were on the program, we were talking with Kenny Davies and I asked Kenny what he thought would happen with the extra distance uh, on the car. Normally you run 25 laps, you're running 40 tonight. What do you think, uh, what do you speculate as a driver, what's going to happen to this race car uh, when you add on an extra 15 laps? Uh, I think the car is probably going to go about the same. The biggest thing is these tires, at the end of 25, the tires are pretty much given up, and uh, you got to save them. So that's why we put a couple right sides on this week. And, uh, you know, again, we're going to try to save it, maybe run hopefully in the top five for the first 20, and then let it rip after that. So you think track position will be really key in this extra distance race as well, maintaining position perhaps down on the inside to prevent a lot of wear on those tires? Yeah, if you can get up front and just run a line and not have to work hard to get there, you know, if you're starting way in the back and you got to really use it up to get there, then, you know, you might get a chance to cool them off, but you really need some, you know, fairly fresh tires for that last 10 to 15 lap run, yeah. Now, you're the older brother. Younger brother Lance has a pretty good season going as well. Talk about the, uh, the camaraderie and also perhaps the rivalry that might exist uh, between the two brothers, Raptoy. Yeah, I know uh, we both, we race hard. We race great together. Uh, you know, it, it comes down to uh, winning, beating each other. I mean, we're brothers. We don't want to wreck each other, but we want to beat each other, you know. Uh, we race hard together, and, and we have more of a camaraderie, I think, than, than a rivalry for sure. Um, you know, we're trying to get that 1-2. We've gotten a 2-3, which yeah. is cool, but the 1-2's coming. We'll get it. Uh, in this division, as you mentioned, the competition very close each and every week. Uh, there's just a handful of cars that could find their way into victory lane. For you, is there a key that you think that might really allow you to get there? Is it is it e easy to say one thing, or is it just circumstances falling into place? I think that's exactly it. I mean, circumstance. You know, you got to put yourself in the position and just, you know, it, luck plays out a lot of, you know, racing is a lot of luck. And uh, we just haven't had that. You know, we've got the car. There's no question. I mean, you know, our results have shown that. But uh, like I said, we've been in some bad situations the last few weeks. But uh, You've been at this now for a few years. Talk about what auto racing means to you. I mean, it, obviously it's something that you must get a lot of enjoyment from. Oh, definitely. We grew up with it. You know, my dad, uh, back when Catamount was around, uh, he worked on a lot of different cars and we were there every Saturday night. We used to, you know, lay in the race car and sneak in the pits every weekend, you know. <laughs> we'd, uh, we were there and uh, we just grew up around it and finally had the opportunity to hop in one and uh, no turning back. I mean, I, I won a championship back in 03 and uh, took a couple years off and I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to come back and we raced a part-time season uh, back in 06 and back full-time. And hopefully we can keep it going, keep the sponsors coming. Uh, Island Excavating has done an awesome job for me. I couldn't be doing it without him. And uh, all my other sponsors, thank them too. And, you know, hopefully we can keep it going. People aren't sneaking into the airborne pits, are they? Well, not that I've seen so far. I think it's a little harder. You know, that was 25, 30 years ago. So that kind of shows my age too. Yeah. But uh, well, well, we wish you good luck tonight in that 40-lap race and uh, continued success through the rest of the year. And you're right in the thick of things in the points chase as well. Yeah, we're, we're right there. You know, it's uh, I'm top seven or eight positions. Uh, it can change a lot in one week. So, you know, we're, we're, we're going to hit it, and I'm, I'm not too worried about it. All right. Well, Dave Raptoy, we thank you for joining us on Motorsports Magazine, and we want you to stay tuned because racing action is coming up next right here on